Alright guys, I got an interesting perspective game here. Uh, two Panther 2s both lead the team on each side. And it's two different play styles. So, first one's me in the north, my Panther 2. Fisherman's Bay, standard battle. And really, to me, Fisherman's Bay is mediums go to the south. Or, I'm sorry, go to the middle. Um, otherwise, they should rush the, the one line together. Um, and really it's just a matter of watching how the team fans out at the beginning to really determine uh, what we should do. Heavy tanks, in my opinion, should just go to the, the town. You got cover from Artie. They essentially send their heavies. Um, now this is really aggressive to go this far out. Um, we're not blessed with the bushes like computer has, so to get spotted up here is pretty dangerous. That puts you in a big crossfire. Uh, what allows me to sit up here is my A44 that drove into G5 and got tracked and is getting farmed. Now I do take too much damage here. I probably sat there too long. But I want to get vision out. Early vision on this map is pretty crucial. I feel like it can turn the game. So uh, the other guys that went to the middle with me are now dead. And I'm going to speed this up. A lot of guys will sit down in like J8. So that's essentially what I'm trying to do. I take it wide just to open up the, the angle of view range. And I do spot a Tiger 1. And then the Panther 2 on their team ends up shooting me. Um, and I don't, don't think he's been spotted yet. Now the other thing is, if you're a medium tank, you can definitely go support your heavies in the city. But you can see that I didn't really have any heavies in the city, nor are they pushing. So, I mean, to me, if they just get defensive over there, then we won't lose the city and we can just farm the north. This VK-101P comes out into the open, you want to balance a heavy tank, just put them in a field. You can have all the armor in the world, but if you're driving to crossfires, you're not going to have a good game. Uh, so he turned his armor at me, and now I'm just thinking, let me just keep you tracked here for Artie, and then I'll shoot your lower plate, and we'll be done with you. Alright, that's probably, to me, the most dangerous tank on their team, maybe besides the Jig Tig 88. So you can see we're coming back. Um, it was a 5v1 or 5 to 1, and now it's a 4 to 5. So, um, see if I can get shots on this Jig Tig. You're essentially guys in the city. I can see that Tiger 1 again. And now I know there's guys in the back, so I try to play this a little bit more cautiously. And to drive up and just shoot the Jig Tig in the side, I know that there's going to be that Panther 2 sitting in the back. So. Heavy tanks, if you go down the 9 line, don't push out into a field. As you've seen the VK-101P on their team, it goes the same way for the north team. Once you get through the city, um, to push out into that field is suicide. Really go all the way down the 9 line and work that ridge line in, from the south. Otherwise, come back to the middle and then work that way. I try to get tracking shots in the Panther too. I feel like if my heavies are to progress, they need that Panther 2 dead. And that was my thought process. So to get Artie to kill him. Now I lose my motherland here and he really was in a terrible position the whole game in my opinion, but he he at least was giving me vision if they came over. So now I'm the only one that's here to protect Artie. Um, so I have two jobs at this point. Try to keep my heavies alive and try to keep Artie alive. And I'm going to do that by throwing down vision in the middle of the map. And I expose a lot of my tank doing so. But if I don't do it, I mean it's pretty much just essentially hiding in the back. And this thing just does not put out the DPM to be able to shoot your way through that. <clears throat> so I think it's this next shot I miss. No. That one right there. I feel like if I landed that shot, I could have move to a better location, um, but now that Panther 2 finally moves up and kills me. 
Um, and I pinged the map at Artie because I don't think that he's really doing much, but that GW Panther on my team actually had like 3,000 damage, so. Um, let's see. We're going to return to the garage, and we're going to watch it from his perspective. Now, I fast forward it because I tried to make this video like 10 minutes earlier, and it became a 15 minute video. And I don't think anybody ever wants to watch a 15 minute video. So we'll look at endgame stats before we dive back into his point of view. <clears throat> and you can see I got an ace tanker, 4,300 damage, 1,600 assisted. Um, and my GW Panther did 3,000, but really nobody else gets the 2,000 mark. In a tier 8, and you're high tier, you should probably throw down 2,000. At least get your hit points, I think, is a good goal. Uh, their Panther 2 did 3,500 and 5 kills. So He snipes in the Panther 2, utilizes the accuracy, but doesn't have to work for his damage. Like, we feed him like a little baby the whole game. This is just a game where you feel like had I just had one more competent player on my team or had I had one competent player on my team that's not artillery we probably could have pulled this down all right so let's get do I skip them already So, he has moved a half a square, and it looks like he wanted to go support his heavy tanks, um, but then their scout, their scout spots us in the middle, so he's going to set up sniping shots here, and he's the one that actually tracks the A44 out in the field. So you see that A44 got tracked up in the city, and then he chooses to drive out without a repair kit even further, so... It's okay. I mean, him being alive with this big top was the reason why I got out of there um, with three quarters of my health. Probably would have been like a quarter of my health had them two not been with me. Arguably, I wouldn't have pushed that hard, but... Alright, so now he's just going to camp here. You see how far away he is from his spawn. He's traveled a long distance. He gets a shot in me there. At this point he's up to six pens, one kill, um, but really just fed on the on the guys that chose to drive over the middle. Now we have four guys in the city and they're potentially being held back by a T29, a Persian, and a Tiger 1. So it looks like a 3v3 right now. And they're doing decent work. I mean, the T29 is almost dead, the Pershing is almost dead, and the Tiger's half health. So, <clears throat> at this point, their Jig Tig moves into a spot, a location where they can he can farm our city in the side. And I just think they sat there too long. They should have just pushed on that Pershing and taken him. Which they, they do. However, I remind, remember I'm in the fastest speed right now, so it seems like they did it quickly. However, they took a while to do that. So to have a good game in your Panther 2, you don't have to move off the base. You could just sit back by Artie, protect Artie, make sure Artie doesn't die, and just farm the idiots that drive out in front of you. Now at this point he's probably hoping like, man I hope these heavy tanks try to drive out into the field and I can just farm them like I have done the rest of their team. And you notice, oh this Panther 2 is killing my team, I need to take him out. He's looking for shots on me. There's no more heavy tanks in the city so now he wants to come after me. So he's finally making his move. And we know how it ends. 
and he puts me down, and then he kills Artie. Game over. So at this point, he's got 14 pens, 3 kills. I was going to look to see what he had before he drove up to the middle. Um, but really, that's irrelevant. So two different styles. Uh, it just angers me that his camping play style ended up winning the game. And he got rewarded for it. That's all I got for you guys.